All right, so today uh, I want to share a little bit with you on cybersecurity. Um, you probably hear lots of uh, reports recently um, uh, that has been affected uh, probably your daily life. Um, you, uh, this year in New Zealand, we have lots of attacks and it actually affected quite a few big uh, businesses around. So um, let me see. So um, one of the uh, cybersecurity experts said is that it is not the case if you get it hit, but it's when. So everybody probably are subject to this cyber attack. So like early this year, the Reserve Bank of New Zealand, they got, a uh, they got an unhappy new year, they were attacked. And then in about March, the Microsoft Exchange, the email system get attacked in New Zealand. Well, the big one is the Waikato Hospital. We probably all hear about that. And then, uh, in July, uh, there's um, a company called Kasaya. They have lots of um, uh, link to schools and things like that, and their system get hacked into, and they affected quite a few of those schools. And then uh, September last month, uh, you probably hear all those like um, uh, ISPs, they get uh, dogs, uh, the attacks. And that is actually slowed down uh, the internet connections for lots of customers. So it is um, actually getting, um, uh, according to uh, uh, the stats, uh, last year, the cyber security attacks increased about 70% in New Zealand. So because of the pandemic, lots of people were staying home, have nothing to do. So they want to get something done. And that is what we experienced in the cyber attacks. So uh, how to help ourselves to prevent ourselves from cyber attacks? The biggest thing or the most obvious thing that we can do is about education. So um, e each of us as end users, right? We will get those something we call is called simple attacks. What are the simple attacks? You probably all have experienced them. The phishing emails, the scam uh, text message come, especially this month, I myself probably receive over 20 scam message. Uh, it looks so scam because you can identify immediately. But some of them are very cunning. They will ask you to click on this or they will tell you that you need to do something. And they look so genuine. It can look something from your bank, from your career and from your utility companies. If you don't, um, uh, if you are not careful enough, you easily get clicked into it. I have already got two customer call me this week and say, oh, I just click on it. Can you just check my system and see if it's been compromised or not? So um, trying to learn how to identify those simple effects. Uh, that is one of the easiest way to prevent yourself get tricked Otherwise, you have to go and get all your device checked and then you might need to go and get your bank account locked uh, just in case people get all those informations and you have to do the exercise to change all your passwords and stuff like that. So very simple step that you learn and can prevent you from uh, lots of uh, other problems from there. So uh, just like the PowerPoint says, users are the weakest link. So um, some of the problems can come from like a user error. Um, you probably don't even know that I have one of my senior uh, customer. He always call, he have a very thick uh, finger. So whatever he clicks, it's the wrong place. <laughs> and he often have to call, Tony, I missed this document. I Tony, I missed that document because he moved things to the place where he is not aware of. So, so those are the um, user errors unintentionally that can cause problems. But there's also problems that um, if you just like uh, Catherine just deal with an uh, uh, employee that is not very happy, when employee is not happy, they can do lots of things. So have you got a policy or you have you got a, a strategy how to handle this malicious 
uh, deletions. If they, I have come across things like that, that they would delete some documents if they are forced to uh, exit the company. Uh, I have, I come across one case that he actually removed the whole inbox. So luckily we got a backups, otherwise you got a lot, the company will get lots of problems. So those are some of the things we need to be aware. So, well, for each of you, what do you think computers are? Are they your friends? Are they your enemies? I just want to have a, 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 a hand raise. Uh, who, who thinks the computers are their friends? Oh, good. That is very good. I have a few hands up. Computers as their friends. And who do you think that the computers is the enemy within? That's very good. That looks like you are all very confident with the uh, ITs uh, and the system that you have. This is a really good sign. Um, I, I, I love to make computer as easy uh, or IT as easy as possible because it is to help you to actually get your business run more effective. So make it as your friend. If you don't know how to make it as your friend, learn it because it can be your friend. Okay. I mean, this office, the Wi-Fi in this office is um, a publicly shared. So that's a bit of a problem sometimes. Okay. Um, now, mm, let me go back here. So, um, so not only that you need your antivirus uh, solutions, there's a few other things that you need to have to protect yourself. So we're talking about security process. The first one is antivirus. And also for bigger office, you need a, a network protections and firewalls and things like that. But those are only the starting point of protecting yourself. You need a business continuity solution. What does that mean? If you get hacked, if you get uh, your security compromised, if your data get deleted, how can you move, go ahead to continue your business? So I think um, Catherine have talked about this kind of um, uh, in a different angle, but in the IT side of it, we're also talking about business continue, continuity solution. So there's a few things you can do to help yourself so you can move on. Uh, the softwares and the solutions to uh, even your computer is done or your system is done that you can continue your business. And the third part of that is backup, backup, backup. Important things, we have to repeat it three times, <laughs> okay? So each of us, we do need to look at, so not only you need to have your backup in place, but you also need to check it, uh, verify that you do have your backup as you uh, intend to, or you have designed to. So that is very important. And most uh, lots of us nowadays, we use Google Workspace or Microsoft 365. And he said, oh yeah, we have already got our SaaS. Um, the data in this should be safe, right? Not necessary. There's still a risk that those data can be uh, gone missed. The one that I mentioned earlier about that employee delete the whole mailbox is actually in uh, Microsoft 365. They delete the whole mailbox from that. Okay, and also, especially if you have share folders in uh, OneDrive and things like that, people can also delete things inside those uh, OneDrive or Dropbox. So you need to protect even on uh, Microsoft 365 or Google Workspace. And the three P's for protections, well, we all have our passwords. When was the last time you changed your password for your email? One month, one year, or maybe many years ago. It will be good to check it. If you log in your emails using Google, right? The Google will actually scan, scan your email. See whether that is one of the password that has been leaked into the public space. During the years, there's uh, quite a few big data leak uh, through the big companies. And Google have a database of all those passwords. So if you use one of the password is already leaked, it, the chances that the hackers also knows it. So 
make sure that you check your password is not one of those very uh, like exposed passwords and also the second thing patch your systems your windows or your phone or whatever device that you use make sure your patch is done of course precautions is the last p like we're talking about educations are you aware of do you know these things can happen do you know that your employees can do things to your system and causing damage so precautions is always one of the key uh, so like we're talking about the antivirus they don't uh, they are not a big part of the protection is important but it's not big part because it's not the attack that destroys but the downtime so uh, how much time do you think if your system get uh, compromised that you can bring the business back have you ever estimated that how how long can you go without your email that your uh, that you can survive and how can you communicate with your customer so you need to estimate or at least know what's going on um so be proactive so know these things learn about it get some ebooks and have a quick look on it and get yourself a disaster recovery plan in place and just keep in mind nothing is safe so you need to check 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 and always be prepared and you know that you have something in place just in case something happened so well the last thing i want to share is backup is the only real defense it how it doesn't matter how much antivirus or firewall or things like that you have on your system if you don't have backup you are in high risk so that's everything that i want to share with you today uh it's open up for questions any questions um yes tony i got a question yep i've been i've heard many times that with mac you don't really need to have an antivirus because it's a very safe um you know they have a very safe software is that correct or do you or do, would you still recommend using um an antivirus a uh, mac i would say yes and also it depends on your browsing or online behavior if you are a very safe browser surfing the internet and in mac it's generally okay but if you have teenagers or young people on your computer that is using it to browse all sorts of resources and then you do need to have a protection they, they, this probably uh, the ratio is about like that it's about 10 percent of the virus are targeting mac and 90 percent of the virus is targeting um uh a microsoft platform right okay but so but if you have microsoft then definitely would, you would recommend having an antivirus yes mm -hmm. and that antivirus can also be used can also protect your phone isn't it yep yeah your phone yes okay thank you no problem any more questions mm -hmm. I don't have a question, Tony, but I, I just want to give some people some uh, sound advice. Um, if you have a company and your company number is a mobile number, talk to Tony about getting a landline number and have that landline number directed to your mobile. That way you look like a proper scalable business, not a hobby business. Anyone that has a mobile number, there is a, a perception that you are just a hobby business. So even if you just have a landline number, it's very cheap. It might cost you about $100 for Tony to set you up and $2 for that number a month, but it'll make you a more credible business. So that's my advice to get you to talk to Tony about getting your sales landline numbers. Tony, my question is, uh, which is the best um, protection? uh yeah, what you you mean antivirus antivirus yeah in the market there's lots of players right yeah. um uh, what we are trying to do at uh, the latest technology is we call it managed virus 
which means like, um, for example, I provide this service, I actually get reports of whether your system get being attacked or you have things that comes in and that report can deliver to you every month. Uh, the old way, like for example, you probably know a lot about Norton or, or earlier you have McAfee's and Kaspersky's and uh, Bitdefenders. So there's lots of big players in the market. Each of them, they do have their, their pros and cons and things like that. So for me, I use a system called ESET. And the way I like it because it's a lot lighter weight for small business. Norton is good uh, for heavier users. So, uh, so it really depends on, there's no one is like a best in the market, but depends on your situations and uh, what, you, what you want. And then we can get the best solution instead of the best software. So you're saying Norton is okay? Norton is okay, but if you have an older computer, you will find your performance is like a very bad. Ah. All right, everybody, that's that's me. And ho hopefully that uh, give you some thoughts and help you, help you a little bit. Okay. Absolutely. Well done, Tony. Thank you.